What's up guys, Sean here, and this is the Battle of the Actions. In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing three of the most highly regarded pocket knives of all times. And I came up with a list of different categories that I broke the action down into so I can rate all of those categories and do a deep analysis comparing the action between these three knives. The three contenders, are the Hinderer XM18, the Koenig Arias, and the Grimsmo Norseman. So this is gonna be an epic video. You guys are in for a treat. Let's get started. Okay guys, now real quick before we get into this, I wanna do a pocket check, show you guys what I'm carrying today. I'm carrying my Zero Tolerance 308. This is a big boy right here, and I don't really carry this that much but I want to spread the love amongst my knives. So sometimes that means carrying ones that I don't carry too often. I'm also carrying my Yojimbo 2 that I did the blade modification to. And I'm carrying a Pelican 1910 little flashlight right here. Pretty cool. And I have a Kershaw bit driver. It's about the size of a thick pen. And in the top here, I have a ton of bits, oh, and it just jammed up. Oh, there they go. All right, so I have T6, T8, T10, two size Phillips, and two size flathead bits. So pretty much anything that I would need to do when I'm out and about, I have it right in here. Nice little compact design. I really like this. Now the bits that come with this are not the highest quality bits. I would not trust this as my main bit driver. For my main bit drivers, I use the Weeha uh, soft touch drivers instead of the bits. Those things are much better in my opinion. And then lastly, my newest addition to my EDC is this carbon fiber key bar that a member of the Millie Club was so kind to gift to me. Um, he also gave me the utility blade insert, which is um, something additional that you can purchase for this. They make all kinds of different insert tools that you can add on to it, as well as you have different size screws, so you can expand this and add many more keys to it. Super cool. And then dangling from it, I have my hinder armors tool, which allows me to uh, tighten or loosen the pivot. And then on the back side of it, there's a two millimeter hex, so I can completely disassemble, reassemble my Hinder XM18 on the go with this one little tool. So super cool, big thank you to Mason, and let's get started. So the categories that I broke this down into are detent, flipper, studs or hole, smoothness, deployment, Closing, speed, hot spots, reliability, lock bar access, acoustics, and grip. Now, each of these categories is going to be worth five points. You guys may be thinking that's a little bit excessive. Um, you know, you can't just tell us which action you like better or whatever. And yeah, sure, I could. And if that was the case, I would give them all a perfect five out of five because they're all amazing. What this can do by breaking it down into these little micro categories, it's going to give you guys a better idea and understanding of the differences between the three um, because they are all amazing actions, all pretty much what I would consider perfect actions, but they are all three different at the same time. So uh, I'm going to do my best to convey that to you guys at home and maybe help you guys have a better idea of which one of these you might want to check out next. I'm going to switch over to the tabletop view so you guys can get a closer look at the action and we are going to get into this. All right, guys, so here's my categories. We're starting with the Arias. The first category is detent and the detent on the Arias is absolutely perfect. I would consider this to be a strong detent, okay? Very snappy, absolutely no detent lash whatsoever. Very crisp break, but this is definitely a strong detent, all right? It takes a good bit of force 
to break the detent. Now, when you're doing a reverse flick, you can easily overcome the detent if you go lower on the hole. It gives you a little bit more leverage and it makes the detent feel a little bit softer, but this definitely has a strong detent, but I still consider it to be a perfect detent. And then we have the Groomsman Norseman. This also gets a perfect five out of five. However, this is what I would consider a light detent. This requires a lot less force to actuate it and it is still completely reliable. Very easy to middle finger flick, thumb flick, and flip with the flipper tab. And then the XM18, the detent on this guy is pretty much right in the middle between the Arius and the Norseman. This is what I would consider a medium detent. Now the placement of the thumb studs, which actually double as stop pins, uh, doesn't give you necessarily the best leverage. So it gives an illusion that this has a stronger detent than it actually does. Um, when you middle finger flick it, it's a little bit easier. When you thumb flick it, sometimes you can have your fingers into the lock bar, which that's gonna increase the detent strength because it's gonna push the detent into the blade. So um, very, very nice detent. Feels excellent, but all three are just a little bit different. So we have really strong, we have a medium and we have a light, but they all score a five out of five. Now for the flipper tab, the Arius gets a four out of five. This is not because of the design of the flipper tab. I like the small compact shape. The only reason for this is the jimping on this feels a little bit sharp and it does get uncomfortable after a little while. So um, if you're not sitting there flicking it over and over again, you're not gonna have an issue. However, if you did wanna fidget with this for a long time, that might get uncomfortable for you. For the XM18, it gets a five out of five. Now I was considering docking into point because some people don't like this flipper tab. They think that it's an odd shape and some people think it feels rough. I happen to think that it actually feels perfect. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I first got the XM18, I did think the flipper tab was a little bit odd. However, after using this for a while now, I have really fallen in love with it and this has actually became my favorite flipper. So. Sometimes you just have to give things a chance. The flipper on this is absolutely amazing. And for the Norseman, the flipper gets a 4.5 out of five because it, well, it's nice and compact. It works perfect. There's plenty of leverage because of the detent not being very strong. However, there's actually not enough grip on this. Now it's not really an issue because you don't have to overcome a stiff detent. However, if my hands were wet, I could definitely see myself slipping off of this. This does have some well spaced out, really smooth jimping, but it's kind of smoothed out to the point that it really, it might as well not even be there to be honest with you. But it still works excellent, so no issues. When it comes to either the studs or the hole, because both of these have studs and this knife has a hole for deployment, the Arius scored a four out of five. That's just because the ed inside edges of this are very sharp. You can not really thumb flick this knife. You can easily middle finger flick it and 
the middle finger flick is quite enjoyable. But because you are limited to the deployments, I docked to a point with the XM18. They work perfectly fine. I can do middle finger flick or thumb flick. And I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 because the placement of these is not optimal for the maximum leverage to overcome the detent on this, which can make that get uncomfortable after a while. Now with the Norseman, this is an area that they did very, very well. Their thumb studs are perfect. Five out of five, excellent positioning. Um, that's because their blade stop is internal, so they weren't limited to where they could place them. And um, yeah, very easy to deploy. Easy middle finger flick. Easy thumb flick, very comfortable, not gonna make your fingers sore. So let's get caught up here. Yeah. Now for smoothness, what I mean by smoothness is if you go like this with the blade, can you feel any grit or resistance whatsoever? And on all three of these, they are absolutely magnificent, okay? And I even have another XMA team right here. Absolutely zero grit, extremely smooth and fluid. So smoothness is a five out of five for all three. For deployment, they all get a perfect five out of five. For closing, they all get a perfect five out of five. However, there is a slight difference. The hinder has a nice smooth hydraulic control drop, which is extremely satisfying. The Arius has a somewhat controlled, very smooth drop, but it's a quick it's a quicker drop. It's not guillotine, but it does come down quick. And then the Norseman, that is more of a guillotine. It has this little spot right here when it's going past the ramp where it slows down for a second. And then if you get past that point before you let go, it is straight guillotine. So... Yes, very nice. The only downfall when it comes to the closing on the Norseman is that due to the softer detent, the blade does pop out a lot. But I found that if you hold it kind of on an angle like this, it doesn't pop out as much. If you hold it straight up and down, it pops back out. So something to note right there. And then speed. That is the speed that the blade comes out when you deploy it. And that goes for any of the ways of deployment. All right, so the Arius and the Norseman both get five out of five. And the XM18 gets a four out of five. And then for hot spots, <clears throat> the Arius gets a four out of five because of the rough, or the sharp jimping on the flipper tab and then the sharp inside of this um, hole on the blade right here. And also, the inside edge of this can feel a little bit sharp also. So, other than that, I mean, there's no hot spots as far as the knife goes itself, really. Um, but when we're, all these categories are 
strictly based off of the action. So it's not hot spots as a whole. It is really only judging hot spots that um, that relate to the action. So that gets a four. The XM18 gets a five and the Norseman gets a five. As far as reliability goes, um, is it easy to fail? And for all of these knives, it is not easy to fail. They are all extremely reliable. All five out of five. Lock bar access, XM18, five out of five. Grimsman Norseman, five out of five. Conigarius, this gets, yeah, it's a five out of five also. Okay. For a two six, I really, really love the sound of this XM18. And I also love the sound of this um, Norseman. All right, and then the Arias. Now, I gave all of these a five out of five. They, my favorite sound between all three is definitely the XM18. However, that's just a personal opinion. The reason I come up with all these subcategories is so I can try to be as unbiased as possible and look at this completely objectively. So they all have good sounds. They all have different sounds, but um, they all sound good. So uh, last category is going to be grip. And that is just how much, um, how secure it really feels in your hand when you're deploying it and manipulating it. Uh, do you feel like it's gonna slide out of your hand or do you feel like you're pretty locked in? And that's not, we're not talking about when you're using it, okay, and you're cutting grip. We're talking about when you only have a couple fingers on it and you're kind of fumbling it in your hand and the grip that you would have when you are deploying it. So that's when a knife that has some grip on the outside of it that can come into handy. Now the Arius doesn't offer any external grip. However, the contouring of the scales and the shape of the scales, as well as this clip and everything, you really don't feel like this is not secure in your hand or like it's gonna slip out of your hand in any way. So five out of five, the XM18, Five out of five, definitely not losing that thing. And then the Norseman, doesn't necessarily feel like it's gonna fall out of your hand, but if I was gonna fumble any of the knives out of these three, it would probably be the Norseman. So I gave the Norseman a four out of five, and the other, uh, the Arius and the XM18, both got a five out of five. Or we'll do a 4.5 actually for the Norseman grip because it's really not bad. Five and five. Now we're gonna total these up and see what we come to. I have a strong feeling that these are all gonna be right around the same score. So let's see. All right, guys, here is the scores now that they are added up. And this is somewhat surprising, to be honest. Um, right off the bat, I will tell you that my favorite action of all time is still the XM18. But I can't tell you that it is the best action. That is just my personal preference. 
when I break it down into all these subcategories to try and be as objective and unbiased as possible, they all scored extremely close within one point. The Arias scored 58 points, the XM18 scored 58.5, and the Norseman scored a 59. So, you know, the maximum amount of points was 60 points here. There's 12 categories, five points maximum per category. That is extraordinary. And, um, you know, you don't find this in many knives, okay? I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. These are three of the most perfect knives that I can think of when it comes to modern high-end knives. I mean, guys, this is the cream of the crop right here. The only others that should be um, added to this that I would have had in this battle if I would have had them are the um, Shiro Gorov uh, Quantum or the F95. I'm not familiar with all the Shiro Gorov models, but I'm sure that would be an amazing contender and would be right there with these three. Um, and I'm sure there's a couple others, but uh, these three are definitely, uh, you can't go wrong with any of them. But hopefully this little uh, deep analysis can help you guys to have an understanding of the differences between them and might give you a better idea of which one might be right for you. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you guys for watching. So I hope everybody's having a great weekend. It's Saturday. So do something fun. Uh, I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Stay tuned. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, a little hair on my hinder. Get off there. A little ratchet hair. All right, guys. And peace.